Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. Today, we're going to do a god roll guide on the Royal Chase Legendary Energy Scout Rifle. This is the scout rifle that comes from hitting rank 30 on the season pass. And I think in the future, since I'm recording this week one of Destiny 2 Beyond Light, it'll be part of another pool of weapons that you can earn uh, throughout the season of the hunt. Royal Chase Legendary Energy Scout Rifle. If anyone asks why you're out here, just reload. Thanks, Devram. Always like Devram. Now, this is a precision frame weapon. Uh, the recoil pattern is more predictably vertical. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go over the weapon. We'll go over the weapon stats. We'll look at the curated roll. Then we'll look at the random rolls that you can get. I will say the curated roll is the one that drops from the season pass because this is the one I got. It's the one that most people have or most people have that I can see on light.gg. But we'll talk about it, go over some gameplay, and then uh, we're going to enjoy this nonsense. So... If you uh, want to help the channel out, hit that like button right now before we move any farther and hit that subscribe button. You can do those two things. Helps the channel, helps the video, and I appreciate it. Now, Royal Chase Scout Rifle. Let's take a look at the stats and the curated roll. This is uh, an interesting weapon. What will happen is as you get further down the uh, season pass, usually these weapons, you can drop them from activities like Crucible Gambit strikes at the end. It'll be like a bonus bonus gun and then we'll start getting these random rolls but weapon stats impact 62 range 44 stability 44 handling 47 reload speed 46 rpm 180 mag size 16 aim assist 63 is pretty good and they did widen with the most recent patch for beyond light they did widen the hit cone with the scout rifle as you get farther out out in the range so it feels like scout rifles really do hit good right now they're not they don't feel any more powerful but they feel like they they hit real good uh, inventory size 48, zoom 20, recoil 63, bounce intensity 37, and it bounces right. I don't mind this gun. I felt like it was very easy to use. It felt a little slow, but it's a 180 scout rifle. It's it's made to be middle of the road hit. I will say it looks real nice. I do enjoy the aesthetic, the smooth, just minimalist scout rifle. I like it. Uh, the curator roll, like I said, this is the one that comes from the season pass. Arrowhead break. Flared Magwell, Auto Loading, and Dragonfly. I threw Dragonfly spec on mine just to get the extra explosion. Have a little fun with it. And uh, that's in the gameplay you're seeing right there. This is the curated one that I got from the season pass. Now, random rolls. Here's the fun part. It does have some of the new perks available. Now I'll be interested to see what we get. Now, Light.gg ranks each one of these items, the barrel perks, the mag perks, and the two weapon perks based on the stats of the users that are logged into Light.gg. What they have on this weapon what they're using unfortunately right now we're so early in the season that everybody has a curated role so that's the only only perks that it's ranking right now so you can see the arrowhead break flared magwell uh auto loading and dragonfly are just top it's 98 percent across the board um i wouldn't recommend that role but that's the role that you can get from the curated role now let's talk about the barrel perks and i'll pick some of my favorites mag perks every every perk i'm going to tell you what i like uh, arrowhead break will give you a handling and recoil bonus. Arrowhead break may may be the top choice for barrels. I can't disagree with that one. I think that's probably the best one you're going to come across for a scout rifle handling and recoil. If you want to push the range out real far, you can uh, with something else. Chamber compensator will give you uh, stability, recoil, and a handling penalty. Corkscrew rifling will give you a range bonus, handling bonus, and a stability bonus. I like corkscrew rifling. That might be the go-to if you don't want arrowhead break. If you want to get some range and some stability uh arrowhead break won't have the range of stability corkscrew rifle will do those things very well extended barrel will give you range and recoil while giving you a handling penalty fluted barrel will give you a stability bonus and a handling bonus fluted barrel is pretty decent full bore will give you a range bonus but a handling penalty and a stability penalty not a big fan of that hammerforge rifling gives you a big range bonus polygonal rifling gives you a big stability bonus and small bore does a little bit of range a little bit of stability i think small bore might be the go-to for me range and stability i would like it to bounce a little less although i do always say i like a little bounce in my scout rifle bounce a little bit less with small board and give me a little bit more range arrowhead break if you want the handling and the recoil control arrowhead break is going to make it a laser um and then corkscrew rifling is going to give you the range handling and stability i probably you know if you're building an all-arounder corkscrew is going to be the one that you'll probably choose if you can pick it uh all right mag perks accurized rounds range bonus that's nice a pendant magazine gives you a mag size bonus. Tactical mag, the one that I typically go with on a scout rifle. Stability bonus, mag size bonus, reload speed bonus. Extended mag will give you the mag size bonus, but you're going to lose a lot of reload speed. I don't like extended mag on scout rifles. Steady rounds, range, penalty, stability bonus. That's a no-go. 
Alloy magazine, faster reloads when the mag is empty. I can see it, but that's not usually top of the heap. And then we have flared magwell, optimized for fast reloading. This will give you a reload bonus and a stability bonus. I like Accuraz for PvP, tactical mag for PvE. Uh, if you're building an all-arounder, you're going to go corkscrew tactical mag. If you're building a PvP monster, you're going to go small bore or maybe extended uh, and accurized. Now, the weapon perks that you can get. We do have full auto holding trigger fires in full auto. It's nice. No distraction. So if you ADS, it reduces flinch after a short period. Field prep when you're crouching, you get faster ready, stow, and reload. Grave robber melee kills reloaded portion of this weapon. This magazine grants ammo. I wouldn't, I wouldn't pick Grave Robber on this one because you're typically not going to be that close with a scout rifle if you are. I mean, maybe you're fighting things at a distance. Someone pops up and you punch them with Grave Robber, and that's nice. Uh, then we do have Auto-Loading Holster. The curated role has this. I like this one in this column. Probably maybe the best uh, holstered weapon is automatically reloaded after a short period. I was using that. That was useful. Uh, slideways partially reloads the weapon's mag and temporarily boosts handling and stability. I guess slideways, but I don't know. This perk column for a scout rifle, I don't know about it. Let me know what you think. Uh, second perk column, the good old multi-kill clip. This will give you that high damage after you get a several, get several kills. So maybe uh, maybe field prep multi-kill clip? I don't know. Dragonfly precision? Precision kills. <laughs> Create an elemental damage explosion. The new one, Thresh. Killing combatants with this weapon generates a small amount of super energy. Quick draw this weapon can be drawn unbelievably fast. And then threat detector, increased reload stability and handling where enemies are in close proximity. Quick draw could be cool. Thresh is neat. I like Dragonfly, Multi-Kill Clip. These first four are always solid perks. Uh, I don't think threat detector on a scout rifle is going to be that great. Maybe a Slideways Thresh could be neat. Or Auto-Loading Thresh could be cool. Full Auto. I think Full Auto on this one would actually be pretty decent. Uh, interesting way to play Full Auto. Uh, arrowhead and tactical mag to pair it off with uh, maybe thresh just to just make it a good solid workhorse weapon give you back the uh, making it easy to use give you back the uh, the energy for your super real fast I don't know let me know in the comments what your role is after you get uh, the curated one what you getting what are you looking for beyond that what do you like about this gun and if you've watched this far in the video thank you so much leave a like if you haven't already hit the subscribe button and if you feel like monetarily supporting the channel that join button is a membership button. It's like a Twitch sub. You pay $49 a month. Physically, physically, monetarily support the channel and just, you know, I appreciate it. Uh, but I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment. What gun you want me to take a look at next? If you haven't, uh, if I haven't done one, I'll do one. If I have, I'll let you know where it is. But until then, until next time, I'm Death Above, and I'll see you later. See you, bye.